Hello, it's Mr. Tando from Family Martial Arts, and I'm here to do a video on how to improve your speed overall. Now, we've got three sort of uh, training ideas or, or training techniques that you can use uh, when you combine them uh, over a period of training, you will get faster. Um, now, if you're trying to be really, really quick, it helps to be relaxed. If you're tense, it's not going to happen because you're, you're tense like a snake. Okay, you, you, stress causes that. Uh, if you're in a, in, a, in a fight situation or maybe if you're in a tournament or something like that, you will feel stressed anyway, but you've got to try and relax the body in order to be able to uh, fulfill your maximum potential. Uh, so if I'm by the pad over here, uh, first one is loose repetition. So you want to be able to um, know how your body moves, just super loose, okay, and always bringing it back to your guard. So you're, you're you're repeating bringing it back to your gut all the time, okay? But you're trying to do it and have your body know what it feels like to be relaxed whilst throwing your shots. So then you know how, it, when you're throwing it a little bit quicker, uh, you, that's what you're aiming for. So if I'm here and I'm going to do it, let's say you had a time limit, it could be 30 seconds, could be 3 minutes, could be, could be 10 minutes, uh, it could be as long as you want or that you can deal with. Okay, but that is your set time limit for loose repetition. So say if I had 30 seconds, I've got a timer, so I'm going to do nice and loose. Looking at your target, bring it back to your goal. Always try to be loose. Watch your front shots. Watch your shots. Okay? So loose repetitions. Then the next one is going to be pressure. So you're going to have a time limit and you have to get out or you're aiming to get out a certain amount of punches as fast as you can. Now, uh, this should naturally tense you up a little bit more. Um, and you're trying to find a balance between loose and tense. So say if you had uh, 30 seconds, you go, right, I'm going to try and get out 300 punches in 30 seconds. Now, it's 100 punches in... 10 seconds is going to be really hard for anyone to do. Um, but do your best, okay? Or, or pick, pick a time limit that you could do. You could say, uh, right, for three minutes, I'm going to try and smash out 300 punches. And that's easily doable, okay? Right, next one is, uh, this one's a little bit harder. Uh, I'm going to quickly go and grab something. Okay, so um, this one is weighted repetition. Now, this might not uh, be, uh, I do not advise this for uh, ninjas and juniors. Um, adults, definitely. Right? Now, I've got two, two pads here, okay? They, you know, they've got a little bit of weight to them. Okay, so the, uh, they, they will help. So now this time, with weighted repetition, I'm still trying to get the speed on the second one, on the timed one, but I'm still trying to make sure my body relaxes shoulders in order to get the speed out. Please bear with me. Right, okay, so I've got these pads on. Now, if you haven't got pads, you can buy, uh, uh, you can do it with some weights, like the, there's really small five kilogram weights, you can get gloves that are weighted, um, you can hold objects like water bottles, they're great, and without actually hitting something with them, you just have it out and you'll be throwing the shots. Um, and still with the other two principles. So you're having the guard, trying to be loose, and you're throwing the shots with the weight to it. All, right? um, all of this combined will definitely help improve your speed, and you can apply the same principles to your kicking, um, you can get uh, ankle weights, you can wear boots. Um, I used to, uh, years ago, I used to wear boots, uh, weighted training vest, and uh, go out running in the snow and then training in the snow. It's not snowing at the moment, I get that, but uh, uh, anything that, that adds weight to your, to your lower limbs. Um, be careful to start off with, and like I said, this is more for adults than it is for juniors and ninjas. That being said, 
Um, if uh, you know a ninja or a junior had um, a couple of fruit shoot bottles or bottles of water or something like that, that would, that would be fine. It shouldn't do. It shouldn't do any damage. Touch wood. It should be fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, let us know how you get on improving your speed if that helps. Um, next one, strength. I'll see you in the strength video.